creating balance means to me as an artist. Um, I think it's something that most creative people would naturally do. But for me, I think it's looking at using old and vintage papers combined with new imagery and combining new work and new ideas. To me, I think it's more just really trying to get a perspective on everything within what we do together. Trying to like not operate just completely on a, a whim of doing something, uh, writing things down, making notes now more. Creating balance to me as a photographer um, is a bit of an awkward question, just really because I tend to take on work, take on more work and keep going and going and going until it gets to a point where I've got so much work that I have no free time to do anything. At the minute, my life is fairly unbalanced. Creating balance in my life and with my work is, I do a few jobs um, from graphic design to teaching and with my life, my family, and the sort of pastimes I like doing, music, etc. Yeah, it's hard. I think creating balance in my life is um, tricky in the fact that being creative, having ideas and instantly wanting to work upon them um, can't always happen. If you're family, you've got other commitments. Those commitments come first. So it's finding a balance, really, in my life with my work as well together. I relate and interpret balance in my life but photographically I, I shoot a lot of stuff digitally whereas if I'm doing something for fun or something that's more creative and I want to actually spend a bit more time thinking about it then I'll shoot all analogue and it's a totally different way of working it's a lot more fun it's similar to the way that Barry and Rue work and they take old objects and then convert them into something digital but then they output it again as an analogue piece of work. In my graphic work, um, I think that looking at the, you know, the lamp itself, we've experimented with sort of, you know, using the lamp within sort of some of the pieces of work we've been doing. You know, we have, like I said, we have had a lamp for a long, long time and then obviously now being involved with Angle Poise, it's been quite a nice little sort of circle to turn actually. The way that the lamp's affected my work is definitely made me think a lot more about shooting still life because I'm a portrait photographer mainly so I don't really do anything other than that and then to kind of take a step back and, and do something that was a bit out of my comfort zone. Uh, the importance of light in my work, I love the sun, if that's something important to say, which we both do, um, and obviously working at night because now we have to sort of do sort of night work etc um, obviously we need lighting or sort of some type of electrical lighting. Light is very important in my work. I shoot with a lot of analog cameras so you put a fixed film speed in your camera and you haven't got any control over it whereas with digital you can adjust to match the lighting conditions. Shooting with film is it's a bit more restrictive but it kind of forces you to think a lot more slow down what you're doing so rather than taking 500 shots today we've only taken 20 but I know they're good. My name is Barry Abrook, I'm a graphic designer, teacher, skateboarding musician um, and general just nice person. My name's Rue Abrook and I'm an artist designer. My name's Rob Luckins and I'm a photographer. <laughs>